Mundungu opening the game with a quick up smash. Uh, Saga looks like he's still taking this seriously though. He's staying Marth. Nice strike to FD, which I think is actually in Spacey's favor here, because Marth can't really get off a lot of his combos. Oh, catches Mundungu with the up smash. Great DI there by Kenneth staying alive for the back air. Ken's just double jumping, not really able to cover either of their recoveries. Mundungus looks like he's picking it up though. Mundungus misses his shine grab. Uh, you gotta be frame perfect to get that on Marsh. And he opts for the low recovery, manages to stay alive, hits Kenneth off stage. Saga looks like he's going to get the edge guard here. Actually against both of them. <laughs> or really held that arrow a little bit too long and ended up paying for it. Uh, still a really close game though, if they can take the stock off of Saga. Wow, the laser actually saved him. We'll see how he had goes for the edge guard. Yeah, he's not coming back. Okay. <coughs> So, tight battle here. Yeah, real close. Ooh. Uh, Tipper's got yeah, Tipper will kill at 50. That's for sure. Goes for it again. Yep. Smart air dodge by Mundungu, though. This is the up tilt. Oops. Mundungu got a little bit antsy there and actually walked into Kenneth's combo. And allowed him really to escape. Missed the angle up smash he wanted. I'm still able to convert some damage off of it. We got him with the dare. Looks like Ooh, Kenneth Archie. and Manungu are going to have to work on their teamwork a little bit if they want to take this. Looks like they're opting for 1v1 situations as much as possible. It's probably just where they're most comfortable at right now. I don't know how often, how often they team together. I'm not sure. I know um, Mandungu teams with Frank a lot, and Kenneth usually will team with uh, Ricardo, at least at the Constructs here. Alright, um, next stock is probably going to decide this thing. Yeah, both teams playing super cautious right now. Kenneth does a great job just getting in the way and shielding, so he's not going to get punished for interrupting. Uh, unfortunate there from Mundungu. Uh, I'm not, maybe I'm not a bit. sure about these arrow charges some of these times. Yeah, I think he really is just disrespecting right now. Alright, so it's just a 1v1 with uh, Saigo and Kenneth. See uh, I think both these players are pretty experienced at this matchup. Saigo with the down air. The That's going to take game one. Oh, excuse me. Uh, is that game two? Uh, no, it's game one. Yeah. <laughs> what? It's one of the games. All these, all these score changes. It's, it's too many things to remember, man. Counting to three, the hardest thing in in melee. Yeah. And it looks like they counter pick Dreamland, and Orly is like, that means I'm going Falcon. Falcon. Now I'll see some flashy stuff. doesn't love watching Falcon. Uh, not able to connect with anything yet, but... When he does, when, yeah. it'll it'll look nice. And it'll probably end in a stack. 
Oh, managed to get the edge guard there on Sago. So and Falcon back for the last thing that Falcon wants recovering is two spaces back airing. <laughs> There's absolutely nothing you can do about that. And oh, nice great back air. I like that. Waiting, waiting for the other one to come back on the platform so they minimal mm -hmm. amount of time in a 2v1. Now, Frank is under the impression that uh, if you have two people coming back at the same time, the best idea is to space your invincibility so that you have six total seconds of at least one guy on your team being invincible, rather than both people being invincible for three seconds. Uh, maybe based on team, that's a matter of personal preference. It looked like they just wanted to get down as soon as possible. Yeah. That was very interesting. Uh, Mundungu is being patient after Saga got the grab. He's looking to get the punish, but he actually uh, missed it. He was a little bit slow. Uh, Green Team's doing a great job of staying alive this game. Ken goes a little too deep for that edge guard. <coughs> Pays for it with the stock. Still real close. I'm really just trying to get out of a tech chase situation. And Falcon's still living. On that edge guard. And Saga's living yeah, too, yeah. The yeah. He knew he was dead there. Oh, kill it. Saga really wanted that double gimp. Oh, but oh both green man, team dies. That changes everything. Yeah. That's a that's a tricky situation to be in because if they're up being at different times, you gotta pay attention to which one started it first, and at least hit him because if you get caught by the first one's Firefox and the other one's gonna hit you, you're not gonna be able to edge guard either one. Oh, safe option there by Aurelia. Ended up uh, working out for him. It's pretty even now. Yeah, dead even on stocks. Red team's got the percent lead. Oh, Sago gets the gimp on Kenneth. The stage spike. Let's see. And that's really what Green Team needed to bring this back. Let's see if Mindango can uh, clutch out the 2v1 here. Against Sago and O'Reilly. Oh, nice. Great job by O'Reilly. Stomp. Up air, couldn't quite connect with the knee, and he recognized it. Alright, and that's a 2-0 for O'Reilly and Saga. That's it. Just like that.